Welcome to Evening Prayer with the Stamford Methodist Circuit for Monday the 21st of October. During this week of prayer and reflection, our scripture readings will be following those recommended for each day in the Methodist Church Prayer Handbook from the Gospel of Mark. And I'll also be weaving into our prayer times some resources and reflections for One World Week, which for many years has been observed at this time of year. To call us into this evening's time of reflection and prayer, we share verses 6 to 8 of Psalm 17, the psalm recommended for today by the prayer handbook. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love, you who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. We'll be using the following prayer as a linking thread in our prayers each evening this week. The prayer originated in the Methodist Church in Brazil and it's included in the building community section of the Called to Prayer anthology, which brings together a selection of prayers from the Methodist Prayer Handbook over a number of years. So let us pray. Dear God, our Father, we lift our voices to you in community prayer. Help us to be faithful to your call. May we know your will, follow your way, carry out your mission in love to all people. Give us strength to take our stand for life against all the forces of death. In the name of Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. Amen. Since 1978, One World Week has been offering inspiration and hope to encourage people to take action to build a just, more equal, inclusive and peaceful world that safeguards environmental resources for future generations. For over 40 years, One World Week has been building a movement for change by raising people's awareness and understanding of the injustices which cause poverty, and conflict across the planet and in our local communities and which threaten a bleak future. One World Week ceased to exist as a separate entity in autumn last year, recognising that its aims are shared with other organisations which will carry forward the important, inspirational and hopeful work which remains to be done. Despite One World Week ceasing to exist as a national organisation, One World Week is still being used as a banner for a week of displays and activities at Stamford Arts Centre this week, with the theme Community, celebrating what it means to you. Today's hymn, recommended by the Prayer Handbook, is Charles Wesley's Come Sinners to the Gospel Feast, let every soul be Jesus' guest. This version with British Sign Language interpretation was recorded by the Oxford Methodist Circuit.
the words of that hymn are highly appropriate to lead us into hearing today's reading from Mark chapter 2, verses 13 to 17, which we share in a cartoon Bible version, which uses the text of the contemporary English version of the Bible. Once again, Jesus went to the shore of Lake Galilee. A large crowd gathered around him, and he taught them. As he walked along, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus. Levi was sitting at a place for paying taxes. And Jesus said to him, come with me. So he got up and went with Jesus. Later, Jesus and his disciples were having dinner at Levi's house. Many tax collectors and other sinners had become followers of Jesus, and they were also guests at the dinner. Some of the teachers of the law of Moses were Pharisees, and they saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors. So they asked his disciples, why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard them and answered, Healthy people don't need a doctor, but sick people do. I didn't come to invite good people to be my followers. I came to invite sinners. Jesus' calling of the tax collector Levi to follow him and become part of his closest group of disciples is a graphic and personal illustration of the sort of community which Jesus gathered around himself and which he had come to create. We note that this event is recorded in chapter 2 of Mark's Gospel. Jesus calling Levi was one of the first actions of Jesus' earthly ministry. Jesus started out as he meant to go on. And Jesus' calling of Levi had consequences. Levi invited Jesus to dinner. It seems that Levi wasn't the only tax collector to follow Jesus, because many others were also eating with Jesus and his disciples. Mark tells us they were present because they too were followers of Jesus. The new community which Jesus was building extended to those whom the onlooking Pharisees viewed as unclean or unworthy. However, by the end of the reading, Jesus seems to pose the question to the Pharisees about who is really sick and who are the healthy ones in this interaction. Those whom Jesus drew to himself into his new community of grace and love were the people who knew themselves to be sinful and in need of God's help and wholeness, which Jesus embodied. As Charles Wesley put it so poetically, Come, sinners, to the gospel feast, let every soul be Jesus' guest. You need not one be left behind, for God has called all humankind. From those words of Charles Wesley, written some 270 years ago, we move to a contemporary hymn by Martin Leckerbush. I've chosen it because of its reference to our Christian discipleship being expressed in a wide variety of ways, not just in what we might consider spiritual vocations or areas of work. So as we've been reflecting on Levi the tax, tax collector, the hymn mentions those whose Christian calling is expressed in government or commerce, college, hospice, farm or home, whether volunteers or earning. And the final words of the hymn remind us how secular is turned to sacred made a precious offering as our daily lives are fashioned in submission to Jesus our King. Called by Christ to be disciples is sung by the online cloud choir and musicians of Frodsham Methodist Church. Oh, 
and let us pray. God of all humanity, in a world full of fear, open our hearts to your love. Though we walk in desolate valleys, open our minds to your hope. We turn from hatred towards love. We turn from intolerance towards understanding. We commit ourselves to compassion. Together, not alone, we pray for peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Details of the Stamford One World Week activities and events are available on the Stamford Arts Centre website. The exhibition preview is at 6.30pm tomorrow, Tuesday the 22nd of October, and it includes a showing of the short film Bud Mo, Let Us Be, telling the story of three Ukrainian refugee women. The closing words for our reflections and prayers this week are taken from a longer prayer written by Ian Priest, included in the Building Community section of the Call to Prayer Anthology. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for ourselves in our daily work, that the power of your love may work through us, that your divine purpose may be fulfilled, and that all we do may be to your praise and glory. Amen. Thank you for sharing in this time of reflection and prayer during this One World Week. God bless you. <laughs>